Hey guys, hope you are doing well. So in this lesson, we're gonna look at how to take data. So for example, I'll show you on the next slide. Um, here we've got a, or let's say here, we've got a whole bunch of data, the heights of learners in a school. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that and we're gonna learn how to put it into a frequency table. And we're also gonna learn how to do stem and leaf diagrams. And yeah, we're gonna be looking at discrete, continuous, all of these things. So let's get started. So as I said, frequency tables, we'll look at that. And then also stem and leaf diagrams or stem and leaf pl plots, whatever. Um, and then you get two types, you get single and back to back. If none of these words make sense to you right now, absolutely fine. It will by the end of this lesson. Okay, so let's start. Right, so here we have a person who stands on the side of a road and starts counting car colors, okay? Here are the results, right. So this person is standing on the side of the road as one does and we just count cars and um, looking at the different colors. And this person saw that there were nine red cars, five blue cars, 20 white cars and three green cars. They want us to create a frequency table, okay. So what we'll do is we will put, we can put car color over here, car color. And then we could put the different colors. So we could say red, blue, and um, white, and then green. Now, some teachers are gonna ask you to do this middle column, which is gonna be called a tally, okay? And then, and then some teachers will skip that and they'll just go straight to this column, which is gonna be frequency. So with tally, um, you know, if you had to stand next to the road and you were counting cars, you would say one, two, three, four, five. Whenever they do that, that means five. Then you would say six, seven, eight, nine. And for the red, there was nine. Then under the frequency, you'll just put a nine over here. For the blue cars, there was five. So one, so you can imagine if you were standing on the side of the road. Oh, there's a blue car. Oh, there's another blue car. There's another blue car. There's another one. Oop, there's five. Five always means you put a line through it like that. Then um, for the white cars, same thing, right? You would end up with four of these kinds of things. Because each of those is five. Five times four is 20. Ooh, Kev, you should put your numbers here, my dude. 5 and 20. And then green, 1, 2, 3. Okay, so that's um, what that would look like. Now, this next question, is this discrete or continuous? Well, let me try to explain discrete and continuous as best as possible. Discrete, okay, let's start with discrete. Discrete um, data. You can count. It can be counted, um, can be counted. Whereas continuous data, uh, you rather measure it, can be measured. This will make more sense as we go along. So for example, when you've got cars that are coming past you and you're busy uh, counting them, that's the key word, well, you don't measure the cars coming past you. You don't say, hey, 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 John, can you just quickly pass my tape measure? There's a red car going past. I just want to see what color it is. That would be quite strange, right? Um, so you literally just count it. So when you are just looking at cars, like the color of cars, you're just counting how many cars there are for a certain color. So this is going to be discrete, okay? Discrete data. Okay, here's our next one. The types of phones used by students is analyzed. We've got Samsung, Huawei, iPhone, and Nokia. Create a frequency table. Okay, so then here you would put your phones. Let's assume your teacher wants a tally, and then they'll definitely want a frequency. Okay, so we're just gonna put the different phones, Samsung, Huawei, iPhone, Nokia. Okay, so, the tally here was six, so if you were counting, let's say you were in your classroom and you were asking all the, your student, your fellow learners, um, or friends, whatever you want to call them, um, what phone they have, you wouldn't know that there's six in the beginning. So you'd walk up to someone and you'd say, hey bro, what phone do you have? Samsung, okay, so you put a little line. Then you ask the other guy, hey dude, what phone do you have? Samsung, you put another line. Three, four, once you get to the five, then you put a line through and then you do there. That's what six would look like 
and then you'd put a six over there because Samsung is six. Huawei, exactly the same, six. iPhone, two. So don't think of that as 11. No, it's two. We're just putting a line and a line. Um, and then Nokia is three. So one, two, three, like that. Okay, now, did you measure what phone your friends have? Did you say, hey, dude, can I just quickly spot, spot your phone here? I just want to quickly um, put it on the scale so I can see what phone you have. <laughs> I want to just measure the weights and see what phone you have. No, you would just look at the phone and you could easily see that it's a Samsung and then you would just count the different Samsungs in the classroom. So remember, with discrete, you count. You can count it. With um, continuous, you measure. So this is definitely going to be something that we're simply going to be counting um, discrete. For the rest of this lesson, we're still going to be doing a few more of these tables. We're also going to be doing um, some stem and leaf diagrams, and we're also going to be looking at a back-to-back -back stem and leaf diagram. Okay, so let's carry on. So here we have the heights of learners in a school are analyzed, and these are the different heights in centimeters. Um, that they found with these learners. So it says create a frequency table. Now, what we do is, would you count or would you measure when you're looking at the heights of learners? You would measure, right? You would measure. You would take a tape measure or something and you would go and measure their height. So this is gonna be continuous data. Now, when you have continuous data, your, when you have a height of here, you're not gonna put, listen carefully, you're not gonna go, um, and put individual numbers like 152, 153, no. When you are doing continuous, you make intervals. So you're gonna say something like, this is the 150 up to 159, and we should say here that this is in centimeters. And then you could say 160 to 169, 170 to 179, and 180 to 189. Okay, don't do, um, oh no, that's fine, that's fine. And then uh, we could put the tally, for example. So with tally, some teachers are gonna ask you to do it, but it's not that important, to be honest. But the frequency part, that is quite, well, that's very important. Frequency, let's write nicely, Kev, there we go. Okay, so all you do now is in the 150 to 159 category, just go see how many people there are. So, um, and many times they'll give this to you, okay? But I didn't start at 140, because there are no 140s if you look carefully. And I didn't start at like 190, or like go up to 190, because there are no 190s, okay? And, okay, so, in the 150 to 159, that person, that person, that person, that person and that person. Okay, so it's one, two, three, four, five. So that would be a five. And if you had to do a tally, if you're in class and you're busy doing this, you would do it one by one. So that's what your tally would look like. And now we're going into this category, which is the 160 to 169 category. So that means this person, this person, and that's all. Okay, so it's one and one, that's two. 170 to 179, so that one. Okay, so it's just one over there, and then 180 to 189, so there and there. Okay, so that's two people. There we go. So now, because we are measuring, we said that this is going to be continuous data. All right, here comes the stem and leaf diagram. Kevin, what is a stem and leaf diagram? Well, stem and leaf, you've seen it before, but maybe you didn't know it was a stem and leaf. It's when it's got a line like this. Okay, and then what you do is you ignore you ignore the last number. So ignore the last number. Okay, I'm supposed to be scr scratching those out. That's pretty awkward. So what I said was ignore, like leave it. Don't look at what those numbers are. Just the last digit, okay? Right, then take those numbers that are remaining and arrange them from... Um, Smallest to largest, so that's going to be 15. Okay, now you don't, have, they, they, you don't have to put all of these 15s. No, just one of them. Then there's a 16, okay. Then there's a 17, okay. And then there's 18. Excellent. Okay, now what you go and do is we go look at all the 15s now. We're going to start with all the 15s. So there, 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 and there. And you're going to arrange them from smallest to largest. So the smallest one was a 2, and then there's also another one. So you're going to put a 2, 
and then a two, like that. Now, I have seen that many stem and leafs, they don't put a comma. So if your teacher doesn't put a comma, then don't have like an argument with them and be like, yeah, but man, Kevin said we must put a comma or whatever, whatever, whatever. It doesn't really matter. Um, just follow what your teacher wants, but you get the idea that there's a two and then there's another two. Okay, so uh, we have now done those. Okay, then there's a three. So these numbers must be in order, done. And then there was a eight, done, and then a nine. Done. Okay, then we go to the 160s now. So we've got a 162, a 164. That's all. So the 2 would come first and then the 4. Okay, done and done. And then 170, that's just going to be a 0. And then we've got a 181 and a 184. Done. That is called a stem and a leaf. They call these parts the stem. And then there's the little leaf or the leaves, whatever you want to call it, the leaves over there, okay? So just make sure that these numbers here, or these ones are only single digits, okay? And then all the rest goes over here. Okay, let's practice a few more. So the mass of learners in a school are analyzed, create a frequency table. Okay, so now we're looking at the mass. If you walk up to someone and say, hey bro, can I just count your mass? It doesn't make sense. We're not going to count mass. You're going to measure mass. You're going to say, hey, bro, can you stand on the scale? We're going to measure your mass. So because we're measuring, this is continuous. So because it's continuous, um, in your table, you're not going to do something like, okay, 58, uh, 61. No, you're not going to do that. Because it's continuous, you're going to make a range. You're going to make a range. That's what we do with continuous. So we can see that there's 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s. Okay, so we'll go from 50 to 59, 60 to 69, 70 to 79. Ah, oh, this is awkward. 80 to 89, and then it's awkward because I don't have enough space. So <laughs> we're going to um, just do this. Obviously, in the test, they would give you a better table. And then... 80 to 89, and then 90 to 99, Kev, 99, my dude. Okay, and then here we could do tally. Here we could do frequency. Okay, I need to write nicely. Frequency. Okay, so in 50 to 59, there is uh, there was one person, so we just put a 58. That's one. Then, okay, so that dude's done. Um, well, dude or gal, you never know. Didn't say what school or what what we're doing here. So, um, it just says learners in a school. Okay, so 60 to 69, one, two, three. It says three people there, one, two, three. So then you put a three. 70 to 79, one, two. Okay, there's two people there. In the 80 to 89 category, there's one and only one, okay. And then in the 90 to, category, 90 to 99 category, there's one, so you put a one. There we go. That is what your um, frequency table would look like. Now we're going to create a stem and leaf. So a stem and leaf is when you put the line going down like that. Obviously, you'd make yours nice and straight. Okay, so remember, ignore the last number. <laughs> ignore the last number there. Okay, now we take uh, all of those other numbers and we create the stems. So we've got a 6, a 7, an 8, and a 5. So we're going to put a 5, 6, a 7, an 8, and a 9. Okay, excellent. Now, for the 5s, there's only the 8. Okay, so that's now done. For the 6s, there's this one, and this one, and this one. So that's 0, 1, and 8. Done. Done, done. For the sevens, there is a two and a five. And then for the eights, there is a five. And then for the nines, there is a one. Okay, so that is what your stem and leaf would look like. Okay, now the last thing we're going to do is a back-to-back -back stem and leaf. Okay, so that's all we're doing, and then we are done with this lesson. Well done if you've made it this far. Excellent job. All right, so it says the mass of learners in two classes, A and B. Okay, so there's a classroom A and this is a classroom B. So two different classrooms create a back-to-back -back stem and leaf. A back-to-back -back stem and leaf, you're just going to put the stem in the middle. Okay, and then you'll have the stem of, or the, sorry, the leave of class A and then class B. So we could put class A on the side 
class B. Right, let's make this a little bit wider. You'll see now how we do this. It's very easy. So we're going to go look at all the, we're going to ignore all the last numbers. And we're just going to use those first numbers to give us a better idea. So there's a 6, 7, there's 8s, there's 5s, and there's 9s. Okay, so we're going to go um, 5. So we're going to go 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So this is now your stem, okay? Just like we used to put our stem over here. Now the stem goes in the middle. And then we're going to put the leaves that way and that way. Okay, so I'm going to look at class A first. And for the fives, it has a, okay, there's a 58. Okay, so I'm going to put an 8 over here. Now you're going to go from smallest to largest going outwards like that. Okay. Then for class, um, okay, let's do all of class A. So for the 60s, there's a 0. There's a one and there's an eight. So you're gonna go zero, one, eight. You're not gonna go, you're not gonna go eight, one, zero. You're gonna make it go, you're gonna make it increase going outwards. Zero, one, eight. Then for the sevens, there's a 75, 72. Um, so that's just gonna be a 72, 75. Then for the eights, there's a this and there's a, yeah, just that. And then there's a, uh, that one over there, 91. Okay, now we're just going to go do the same for class B. So for class B, um, in the 50 category, we only had a 51 over there. And then in the, in the 60 category, we've got a 62 and a 68. So that's a 2 and an 8. Now we're counting from smallest to largest. We're always going from smallest to largest, but you're starting at the stem and you're working your way out. Okay, and then for the 70, done, done, and done. For the 70, there's a 6, and then... 85 and 84, so 84, 85. Okay, and there was nothing with the 90. So you don't go put a zero because that doesn't, that means 90 kilograms. So that is what it, that is what your stem and leaf would look like if you have a um, back to back stem and leaf. Okay guys, so thanks very much for watching. I hope that this lesson was helpful.